in this video we're going to take a look at vectors in 3D. So 3D vectors, just like 2D vectors, can be represented in either IJK notation or as column vectors. And notice now we include the K component here to extend vectors into 3D space. Let's just write down a general vector here. Let's say we've got PI plus QJ plus RK. So we can write this here as a column vector. In this case, this would be P, Q, R. So it's going to be P, Q, R. Okay. Now, the properties that we saw for 2D vectors, such as addition and subtraction of vectors, and multiplying a 2D vector by a scalar, they also apply to vectors in 3D. Okay. So I won't show each one of those individually, but just obviously be aware that you can apply those properties from 2D vectors to 3D vectors. I think that's everything we need there for our introduction to vectors in 3D. So now let's take a look at a couple of practice questions. So we start off with question one here. We've got the vector a, which is equal to i minus j plus 5k. We also show that the magnitude of a can be expressed as 3 root 3. So for the magnitude, just remember, we need to use Pythagoras. So in this case here, using Pythagoras, I'm going to do 1 squared plus minus 1 squared And then finally, plus 5 squared. Okay. So we evaluate this here. We're going to get the square root of 1 plus 1 plus 25. 1 plus 1 plus 25, which in this case would give me the square root of 27. And we want to show that this can be um, expressed as 3 root 3. So all I need to do here is simplify this root 27. We can write this as root 9 root 3. Remember, root 9 is equal to 3. So in that case, we get 3 root 3 as required there. Okay, and that gives us the solution there to question 1. Moving on to question 2, now it says relative to a fixed origin O, the position vectors of the points A and B are given respectively as minus 2, 1, minus 3, and 3, 0, 1. What that's saying then is the position vector OA, that is minus 2, 1, minus 3, minus 2, 1, minus 3. And then we have the position vector OB, which we express as 3, 0, 1. Okay, so 3, 0, 1. Now for pi A, we have to find the vector AB. So for the vector AB here, that's going to be the vector OB, this position vector here, OB, minus the position vector here, OA. Okay, so that's going to be OB, minus OA. Okay. In that case then, we're going to do 3, 0, 1, minus, minus 2, 1, minus 3. Let's just write that down in full. If we evaluate this here, 3 minus minus 2, that's the same as 3 plus 2, so that would give us 5. 0 minus 1 would give us minus 1. And then 1 minus minus 3 is the same as 1 plus 3, so that would give us 4. In that case, then, the vector AB can be expressed as 5 minus 1 over there. Okay. Obviously, I could give that in IJK notation as well, but that would be absolutely fine there for part A. So for part B, then, we have to determine the magnitude here of the vector AB. So for the magnitude here of the vector AB, Remember, we just use Pythagoras again. This is going to be the square root of 5 squared plus minus 1 squared. And then finally, plus 4 squared. Okay, so if we evaluate this here, we're going to get the square root of 25 plus 1 plus 16. If I evaluate this here, 25 plus 1, that's 26, plus 16, that's going to give me the square root of 42 there. Okay, and there we have it, so that's our solution to question 2. And finally, we move on to the very last question here, we've been given the vector a, which is equal to minus 2i plus j plus 2k. We're asked to find here the unit vector in the direction of the vector a. So let's just recall the formula here to find the unit vector. In this case, a hat vector here, that's going to be equal to the vector a. 
the vector a, and then we divide that here by the magnitude of the vector a. Okay, so clearly the first thing I need to find here is the magnitude of the vector a. I remember for the magnitude here, we just use Pythagoras. This is going to be equal to the square root of minus 2 squared, minus 2 squared, plus 1 squared, and then finally, plus 2 squared. Okay. We evaluate this here. We're going to get 4 plus 1 plus 4. So 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 1. That's going to give me the square root of 9, which is equal to 3. Okay. And in that case, then, so the unit vector here in the direction of the vector a. Let's write this down. This is going to be equal to the vector a. So minus 2i plus j plus 2k. Then we divide that here by the magnitude of the vector a, which is equal to 3. We divide all of this here by 3. So in that case, then, I can write this as minus 2 thirds of i plus a third of j for 1 third j. And then finally, 2 thirds k. Okay. And there we have it. So obviously, you could express this as a column vector as well. But either way, that's absolutely fine there. Okay. And there we have it, so that brings us to the end of this video on 3D vectors. In the next video, we're going to take a look at solving geometrical problems.